Who keeps the animals in line? Who makes sure the plants all grow? Who keeps the waters clean? Who keeps this jungle of a jungle running? The Ape Council. Starring Benji, Old Mangaroon, Horstead, and Finny. Powers, they've got them. Telepathy, telekinesis, teleporting, teleridiculing, the Ape Council. <laughs> wow, best movie of year. It's the only movie you've seen this year, and it's not even a movie. You're right. It's more of a documentary biopic. Now, enough lounging around. There's work to be done. Oh, no. I sense those awful reptilians are conspiring to overthrow the Ape Council. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. You must disperse them from this sweet swimming hole immediately for the jungle's sake. Okay, me do. But it's for jungle's sake, Ape. We'll check the refreshing waters and make sure they're safe. <laughs> Success! Uh, animals! Oh. George, you must stop those terrible, terrible rhinoceri! Rhinoceroses? They're consuming all this helpless grass! Uh, but... Does grass not feel love, sadness, ambition? Infuriate the rhinos and lead them away from here! Quickly now! <sighs> right away, sir. <laughs> we must examine the terrible damage those beasts caused. Bring forth the inspection tools! It cannot be! What now? Have your eyes gone insane? Those are yellow death boomerangs! No, they're bad. bad. Yes, they're bad. Imagine if small children got their paws on those. Imagine! What we do! Gather them as quickly as you can, then blend them into a fatal beverage, which we will consume, risking our lives to keep everyone else safe. This is ridiculous. We're not going to be Jungle King and Mentor for much longer if this threat isn't dealt with immediately! The poison! I shall defeat it! <laughs> We are victorious! No thanks to your tomfoolery, but I will grant you a chance to redeem yourselves. See those trees? No. Yes. Oh, yes. They must be removed, vanquished, exterminated. Our new ape counts hall will be built there. We'll hold bake sales, computer classes, fun fairs, all for the good of the jungle. Why does it have so many change rooms? Why are you so nosy? Anyway, blah, 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 it's above your pay grade. Now hop to it and clear that land. Yes, you are. So good, we're almost finished. Just two more trees. One. One more tree. Here we go. Please, please don't. Who oh, say the holy banana? Shocking mold. That, that can't be. Oh, it's only a sloth. Sorry, moldy sloth. We need to smash down tree with base. You can. He really can. It's a gift. I've hung from this tree for a thousand years, and I can never let go. Here, me help. Wow, Moldy Sloth really stuck. It's okay. 
George talked to Council, he's sure they understand. What? So sloth there for very long time, he's stuck. So maybe we may call somewhere else. Oh, he's stuck? He no wanna move? Do you want the jungle to go hungry? Hungry for computer classes? No? And we're already paying the contractors! No. Please! <sighs> I'll go get a sloth wrench. You want baby animals not have fun fairs and bake sales? If I let go, they won't have anything except gravy. <laughs> Sound like you say gravy. I did. Oh. What? Come closer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> One thousand years ago, a too smart for his own good ape found something mysterious. Little did he know it was a gateway. A gateway to a dimension of terrible evil and gravy. Finally free, the evil gravy threatened to devour the jungle. Seven sloth heroes bounded together to battle the gravy. But it could not be defeated. Only contained through the power of hugs. Hundreds of years passed, and now I'm the only one left. <laughs> if you remove me from this tree, then our sacrifice will have been in vain, and the jungle will once again be in mortal danger. Wow. Why you no say anything? Uh, I've tried, but no one believes me. You promise you tell George truth? Absolutely not! I told you... But Coconut, you believe his ridiculous story? Evil gravy? That doesn't make any sense! This sloth is just lazy and doesn't want to move his lazy limbs somewhere else. So move his lazy limbs somewhere else pronto! <laughs> oh. Me sorry. But Ape Council give big order to George, and George must do what he told. No! Don't! Oh, we'll be lost! Please! Please believe me! Oh! No! Cry, Slothy Sloth! George believe you! <gasps> no! what I just say? You said... George, no! George say he believe you about gravy! And me do, but... George's supposed to do what Ape Council say. George, have you done what the Ape Council said to do yet? Ape, uh, George have friend who must decide between believe crazy old sloth and doing what Ape Council say. So, what George do? George, as long as I've known you, you've had a good heart. What's it telling you now? Slap thump, slap thump, slap thump. Wow, we should really get that looked at ASAP. But for right now, you need to just follow it. Follow your heart and... George, believe, Sloth! Slip them! What? Did this Sloth offer any proof of his ludicrous conjecture? Yes, he cry a little. Out of the way, Jungle King! That's an order! No! God. Me mean... No! Leave Sloth alone! He hold back ancient evil gravy! And me believe him! And if George believes him, then so do I! You're both fired! If we're fired, then we don't have to listen to you any longer. Yeah! How about you listen to a psychic mind blast? Do it! Do it! Do it! Not care! Bah, he's too mindless for a mind blast! But that's why we brought rhinos. Good, sorry, rhinos. Good, be careful not to hurt you. Ah, jungle hamsters, attack! Ah, there. Good for both ape and hamsters. George, no move. So maybe we just shake hands and be friends again? Honey badgers, jerko lemmings, electric eels! <laughs> just give up already! Uh, you're going to ruin the ape!
great council for everyone! Hmm. <gasps> We're never going to get our spa built with Monkey Man in the way! <gasps> building a council hall? You're building a council spa! But why here? Because of the view, you gumwit! You think I want to stare at some lemur's butt when I get my manicures? Shiatsu if you don't turn on us! Thank you, Jungle King. You saved the entire jungle from a terrible evil. Ah, you're welcome. And you believed me. No one ever believed me before. Come here. Mmm, something smells meaty. Oh, poop. <laughs> hey everyone, it's George, King of the Jungle. George always helps others. He's what you call a giver, and he's had quite a day of giving. First, negotiations between the ape and banana councils broke down and got ugly. Real ugly. <laughs> Magnolia needed help with her research. I was studying interspecies dating, but the couples wouldn't stay together. <laughs> so I used an eensy-weensy bit of glue. Or maybe more than that. <laughs> yes, sirree, George gives. <laughs> and gives. <laughs> and gives some more. And all he gets in return? Pain, agony, and punishment. It's okay, George need break. Oh, George, deal with evil son later. Go away, soundtrack. Not listening. La, 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 George, la, 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 the shaking, the sky, the music. With no time to lose, George and Ape consult the all-knowing Ape Council. With the strike over, we can once again consult the banana bits of fate. What banana bits of fate say? Behold, the future! Is that a skull? It's hard to tell. Wait, it's changing. It's the volcano! That's neat! The volcano! George, defend jungle home! Helping. Can we try something else? Stop already! George, defeated? Could this be it? Has George given his last? Is it the end of the jungle? George? Esteban passes to Hernandez and goal! What? Just working on my reel? Some of us will need a new job after this episode. George, what? What is it? Get the Steve. Yeah, I thought I heard my beautiful name. I was just exploring the Earth's molten inner Steve when I felt my ego get a little bigger. Steve, jungle needs you. That's flattering, but oh yeah, I'm evil. Weasel heart, remember? Man, I love watching this jungle burn. It Council, use mind powers! Yuck! Hey, ungrab the steam! Uh, you can't do this to my perfectly sculpted body! It's a crime against Pilates! George, are you sure about this? Yes, Steve a jerk. 
But he's smart and strong, and one of us. Deep down, Steve loved jungle. I hate the jungle. This is wrong. We can't do this. It's our only hope. Do it now. Let's get this party started. George's golden heart flooded Steve's evil body with mushy, warm feelings. Do we have to? Heck no. George will be fine without a heart. Oh, wait. He died. Get in there! Phew. <laughs> That's the hardest 30 seconds of surgery I've ever done. Steve feels good! Look out, Lava Monster. Steve's coming to save the jungle. Sure, Steve was filled with goodness, but George was supercharged by pride, ambition, and weaselly weaselness. George! George! Man, good thing I don't have a license. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing they take it away for. The Steve. Maybe you've heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. Oh! Whoa! Did he just... He did it! George saved us all again! In the most awesome way possible. You probably wonder why George saved Jungle from Lava Monster. George! But George wonder why he saved it over over when all George get in return is Big Bobos. Big Bobos! A good question. George saved Jungle one last time so he can destroy Jungle for himself. <gasps> That's the weasel talking. He tries so hard to talk like human, act like human, but it's just smelly apu not fit in anywhere. Wow, he nailed you. Magnolia, go home and admit she total failure. Stuff that in microscope and write paper on it. Zing! Busted! <laughs> George, evil! No, George, free! want to be animal because Ursula terrible at being person. Oh, what does Ursula do? Bite George on face? Use claws? Bite George on face again? Huh? 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 What is Ursula gonna do? <laughs> wow. He is on today. Faced with the George Apocalypse, an assembly of all jungle animals gathered to save their home. Our king turns against us. We must activate the self-destruct and purge the jungle with nuclear fire! <laughs> On three, turn and activate! Wait! That's what we're trying to prevent! Your point is... You'll be destroyed too! What? Uh, oh yes, totally! Destroying our home isn't the answer. George saved us all over and over again. It's time for the jungle to save George. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of effort. Our plan's like just one button. Beep, boom. Yeah. We'll take a vote. Uh, democracy's the worst. Who wants to save George? Who wants to blow everything up and start over? It's a tie! We win! Oh, an eight counselor vote is worth ten other animals for some reason. If you don't like the rules, go live in someone else's jungle. The Steve will vote. A king's vote is worth ten times ten. A million. That's 
That's not allowed! Steve is a jungle citizen. I may be stronger, smarter, and normally much more evil than any of you. But as George would say, me from jungle too. The Steve votes to save the George. Uh, we never get to nuke anything! Weasel heart or not, we know you're a good person. George not good, George bad. Duh. Now! <laughs> Nobody wanted to end the season this way, but... Cue the sappy flashback! And through the incredible power of editing and sappy music, George was reminded just how much he loved his jungle home. George! Hey, jerk weasel! Hey, George's friend! George Weasel! Uh -oh. George have heart again? It's back where it belongs. But Steve need heart too. I had a spare hippo heart. And as everyone knows, hippos are lawful neutral. Steve can be whoever he wants to be now. The Steve has a lot of learning to do about the Steve. But jungle, me destroy it. It'll regrow. Until then, things will be a little crowded. A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! <laughs> Those were my friends. George, you've been fighting robots non-stop for a week. Cut! Uh, robot not! Uh, run out! Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackle this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape! Eh? George, go to Robot Jungle! <laughs> Robot Jungle! Knock it off with robots, okay? Oh, hello, Robot George! Beep boop! Robot George, do something wrong? Robot George, not programmed for failure! Robot George! It's okay! It's okay! No! George, I'm not the robot you! I have to say that way too often. Hey, oh, that close one! George, look! Manufactured by Chicago Dental Tronics. Aha! Dun dun dun! What that mean? It means this! The jig is up, Dr. Chicago! Yeah! Stop, robot spam! Oh, wow. Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait. If Chicago no send robots, and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My... my... Moopkins! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Laugh it up! 
What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh, George Collar. <gasps> George, have no mom! You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan, plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? Oh, that's right, 01 was the year of that great hammocane. <laughs> now that was a doozy, <laughs> picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that little, hmm, pork? George not know what it like to have mom. Oh, in Chicago, come out here at once. Ah, she's here. <laughs> Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his moompkins is none of our business. But George wants to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you! Deep blowing anesthetic ray. George, help me and I'll tell you anything. She just wants to know about moons. Deal! I can't feel it. my brain. George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape. George have to do this. But George, he's the enemy. Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. <laughs> uh, doctor, you left everybody's favorite tooth boy behind. Uh, hi, I'm Cuspid. I was created by your son, so that makes me your grand. <laughs> Chicago always have sane mom? Unfortunately, yes! <laughs> this what they call quality time? For oh, the Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. No, that's just zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Two smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicagos have a long and storied history of dental malpra- I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh... How is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a... It's coming straight for us! Cuspid? Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moomkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moomkins will catch you in her loving embrace forever. Ever, ever. <laughs> Just like robot toys! <laughs> Cuspid? He was an abomination, but he was my abomination. Oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his moomkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me! I could never out-dentist my mother! With Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist! You're right. I am a mad scientist! A great mad scientist! Well... I'm just as evil as any dentist! Time to show moomkins what this mad scientist can do! Ready, George? 
Bring on Moonkins! Uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George? You think George's mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George too? Maybe, George, just maybe. You thought Stuart got it from his father? You turned your back on your family history! I'm gonna drill you into atoms! <gasps> Leave Evil Doctor alone! <sighs> George never said that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am! <laughs> Scare me anymore, Robo Caspid! <gasps> ah, fitting tribute, I suppose. Ah! I'm so proud of you! But I. Weren't you going to annihilate me? I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering! You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely evil! So touching. Golly! Did I miss the battle? Husband! You're alive! Of course he is! I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown! He sure is swell, but could you do something? Anything! About the unending pain? George, <laughs> thanks for putting Mumpkins and Son back together. So we can crush you together as a family! George happy to learn what it's like to have mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down! Oh, hey, Ape! For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, what it like to have father? <gasps> Papa Chicago. Chicago! I didn't tell him I borrowed the robots! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkin? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. The jungle, a savage place where might makes right. Where it's eat or be eaten, and it's usually be eaten. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? What's that about? Uh, I don't know what to say. This is... Totally bonkers! It's like they're ready for war! Usually they only ready for nap. Oh no, I think I know what's happening. Quick, come with me, George! Sure, don't worry about me or my research. Medieval sloth. That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure. <gasps> That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure! Backwards waterfall! Technically, it's water rise, and it's not a good sign. No! It's great! Whee! <laughs> On vacation from Crazy Town back tomorrow. That seals it. Silly ape. No seals in jungle. You heard the man. Pack it up. George, all these strange occurrences, all these signs, they can only mean one thing. It's George's birthday? No. Tomorrow is. <gasps> Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day! Hold on, how come I've never heard of that? Ah, here it is. Bonkers, Jungle Reversum Day. It's an ancient jungle tradition where everything flips for a day. Plants chase animals. Prey goes after predators. The weak devour the strong. 
In short, everyone goes totally bonkers for 24 hours. Ooh, you sound like fun. No, not at all. You'll need to be bad, George. Not a king, but a gnick. That's exactly what he must be. But... A bonkers jungle reverse someday might be ridiculous. It might even be illegal. But it's tradition. Do you think we like wearing this silly get-up every day? No, it's itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. It's tradition. And as Jungle King and Mentor, you two must set an example for the rest of the jungle. Or else. Or else what? You don't want to know. But George do want to know. <gasps> it begins! River Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> George? So, George not save Anteater? No, and in fact, you should probably make things worse. You're a Ganick, remember? Be me. Uh, okay. Good. I mean, bad. Now come, there's more evil to do. Don't tell, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Badger. George no have choice. George, I know it's hard, but you need to be a worse king. Even I'm supposed to be a terrible mentor today. Eat this. Oh, but George no good at being bad. Feels wrong. Like when George put on loincloth backwards. What can we do? It's tradition. Now rub this poisonous plant on your face. <laughs> Where'd my little Nobel sloss go? Hmm? Mama needs some groundbreaking research. Wow! Those are replicas, right? Ugh. That's right, George. Only a terrible king would eat all these kittens. Come along. There's other animals to be mean to. Sorry, baby cats. If it make you feel better, you taste nice. Ah! <laughs> it's like grad school all over again! <laughs> oh, man. I'm so worried. How am I ever gonna get away from the slowest animal in the jungle? Oh, my gosh! They're crazy fast! Hey, Julie, in trouble! It appears so, but there's nothing. Ah! You can do, George. In fact, you should probably... Ah! Ah! Trip her or something. But George King! George's supposed to help. Help! Help me! I'll share a prize with you. I promise. Nobels for every sloth. Is that boiling oil? George? Shh. No one can know me save you. Uh, me only save Magnolia because me want to eat her myself. George, wait, what are you? I don't know about you, but that looks like freak eating to me. Show, or it doesn't count. Oh, George! I don't like this very much! George can't do it! George can't be bad! It's wrong! <laughs> Magnolia tastes bad, too. <laughs> Any tradition that makes a grown man cry <laughs> because he had to chew on his friend's head can't be right. 
<laughs> Isn't this all just a little bonkers? No! It's tradition! And by breaking it, you've triggered another tradition! The one that says anyone who breaks tradition gets thrown in old Hottie Fire Mountain over there! Here, here! Capture the king! And the girl, too! Just because. George! Run for it! Ah! But you bad mentor! George, stay right here! And you're going into the volcano, too! <laughs> we hide here in tree until crazy backwards day over. Ah, that's what this is? Why? Why would anyone do this? Meh, tradition. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... Ah! Hey, tree! Stop being mean! They're over there! <laughs> and tickle, tickle, tickle! Wait, George, would you... Hi! Ah! Oh, um, quick! We find new place to hide. Find them! Ah! <laughs> 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 no, this way! <laughs> they can't hide forever. My robe is so itchy. Uh, hi. Get her! No! Don't! This isn't working! Don't worry. George, no last place to hide. Um, I don't know, George. Seems a little obvious to me. No is perfect. See? No one here. Ah! We're going in the volcano, aren't we? <laughs> Bonkers Reversum Day is almost over. Can't we just say you threw us into the volcano? I'm an excellent fake screamer. No, please, why, why? See? They who break Reversum Day tradition will soon become an apparition. Nice. Last chance, loincloth. Be a good gnick and give cargo shorts here a molten rock jacuzzi, or it's bath time for all of you. No! George never do bad things! Not even for dumb tradition! Why? No, no! It's fine. I, uh, I just wanted to do it. You monsters! You can do them. Right! George finally decides to be good, Gnick. So he breaks the volcano open. <laughs> Gonna make big boom now. What? We're all doomed! I wanted to say that. Fix it! Fix it now! You say not to break tradition. Unless... Do you want to admit that tradition isn't an excuse for doing something horrible and dumb? Ah! I think they've learned their lesson. Now fix the volcano, George. No, you know fool George. Me no tradition, very important. Besides, it's still reverse someday. Have a cool, see? Ah! It was still reverse someday. Ah! Ah! Not so bad. In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed and exhilarating, always thrilling, even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Ah! Help! Save us! Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. Oh. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh. 
I distinctly said throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. Shh, it hear you. Earwax has feelings too. No, it doesn't. Clean your ears. No. No one to! Clean it! You're not part of George! Yes, I am! Clean your ass! No! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Posteries. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Oh, we throw you in Volcano. George, don't eat that. It's extra crunchy. Uh, uh. <sighs> Why do I even try? Take the left fork, George. No thanks. George, eat with hands. I meant the fork of the river. Why did not say so? I did say so. I clearly stated take the... <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world, just really big waterfall. Ah! Really, really big waterfall. <laughs> Ape, look. Where, where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Great silverbacks! We've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us. Wait. George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George! It's me, you! Oh, we could do that. Ah, fireworm tastes like fire! I distinctly told you not to eat that! Yeah, pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Here. Yeah. The leaves of the gastro-pacificus bush are an effective anti-centipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so, introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? Please, you must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. Given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Truth <laughs> <laughs> accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> low Earth orbit? Me <laughs> bonobos play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> well, did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Where's souvenirs? Me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? 
I'll be a marmoset's uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. Ah! Ah! What little monkey made from coconut? Ah! One, where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship? We never wrestle sharks? Not once? Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead. George, king of jungle. He protect others. Ape, uh, do step two, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role and George provides the brawl. That's who we are? A sidekick? A second banana? King of jungle, boring. Come, George. Me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ape never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait. champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say... It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination! Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No! We must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Why Shark so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not a great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right. Not great. Awesome! Like lava surf park! Stop thing about lava. George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm. That closer. Oh! George, what have you done? Lava's very, very... Yes! That it! Oh, me need a piece of mark! Help! <laughs> you bow, space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader! <laughs> Death rate awesome! You make that? Yes. Apparently, in my younger days, I was too smart for my own good. George must save jungle from aliens! How he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George see is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this. When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. <laughs> they saved you like Big George. <laughs> Who were those guys? 
thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. No! We throw them in Volcano! Roar! <laughs> There's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the jungle. Now, Terrence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. Do I mean everyone? Good, you're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> yeah! Whee! <laughs> And no more naked Wednesdays, George. You are king. I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> so you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas, but it never is, is it? Ah, what it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? <laughs> hmm, it's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh. Obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belong to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. No, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes, I've been in my lair since this morning. It says here it was delivered. You already said that, but I'm looking around and there's no truck. So say that one more time and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you. Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. <laughs> your company name is a mockery. It says here your truck was delivered. <laughs> Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, Ape, would it be bad if George drive car places? Yes, George, it would be bad. Take it from me. Cars don't get you anywhere. A proper jungle king can't be seen in an oil-belching, environment-destroying metal monster. And that's that. You're really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with it. Hey there, rock star. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engaged jaw rest. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the 
jungle in a car! No way! Car good for jungle! George, show you! You have to agree. This machine is a nightmare. George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points. <gasps> Make that 15. Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem. George! Stop! Go! Okay! I'm all right. Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops! Sorry, me redo. Please, stop. George, listen. Shh, please. Baby Eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> uh, do you want to trade? Hmm, what do you have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready for Brecky Fab? Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... <laughs> Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. for directing me away from accident, ape. Bye now! I don't believe it. <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack. Uh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Wait, speak more slow. George no understand. Not Chicago have eight? Must bring Eagle Blast to Bottomless Pit in next two hours or it go bottomless. <laughs> bottomless. Turkey! He sent message over hour ago. That give me only uh division plus multiplication. Turkey, turkey! Only 20 minutes to save eight! <laughs> What's going on here? What you think? It all your fault. What George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. 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 Let me done! Car bad! But me still needed to save Ape! Ah! Ah, here your car! Like new! Holy crud! Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! <laughs> Save your way! George, you can't catch up to me! 
It's against the law of physics! We don't understand physics, so physics no apply. Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry I no listen to you. Go! Lie, baby eagle! The bottomless pit! It's the bottomless! It's lava! Yeah, good! I'm a destroyed car, just like you say! But George will still in it! George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone pushed cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them? Ah!